Hey everybody, with the recent release of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice and Halloween fast approaching, I thought it would be fun to try and make a game centered around Beetlejuice. The idea I had was to be able to play as Beetlejuice himself and for the environment to be the White River Town model. You know that model that Beetlejuice resides in in the first film. I wasn't quite sure how all of this would come together and I eventually ran into some challenges with the level layout that you'll see later on in this video. I ended up making some adjustments to make the experience feel more like a video game. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I started off by needing to find a Beetlejuice model. I get most of my models from the Unreal Engine marketplace, however characters from movies and other games are not found there. Not sure if that'll change after it's merged with Fab, but as for now, I could not use the Unreal Engine marketplace to find Beetlejuice. But after looking through a couple different sources, I found the best looking model on CG Trader. I then brought the model into Unreal Engine, got it rigged and ready to go. For my game, I wanted to recreate the White River Town model that sits in the attic from the movie. Looking online for references of the model, I ended up having to use still shots from different scenes from the movie in order to recreate it. Using the still shots was difficult as I wasn't able to see every detail of the town because I only had a couple of angles and clear images of the model. With these reference images, I started building out the town. I threw in some house models, made a road, sculpted the landscape, and it was looking pretty good. By the way, if you're enjoying seeing these kind of nostalgic recreations in Unreal Engine, let me know in the comments what I should try to recreate next. Now that I had my level shaping up, I needed a goal for Beetlejuice. How about some enemies to fight? I brought in some enemies and gave Beetlejuice the ability to run around and punch them. But I wanted more abilities, so I gave Beetlejuice special powers, like this ground slam, or this epic stretch that summons rocks, or this not so great version of the Kamehameha. With my combat in place, I now needed a UI to represent the health and mana. I wasn't satisfied with my first couple versions of the UI, so I remade it until it was just right, or until I got bored and fed up with working on the UI. Now the UI shows health, mana, and icons for the different abilities Beetlejuice can use. With the enemies fighting back, I wanted to incorporate a way for our player to recover health, so I threw in some health pickups to help Beetlejuice feel better. After finishing up the town model, I realized it felt a bit empty. The layout of the level was too open and didn't provide much direction, so I decided to create a new level, something more structured with a clear path for the player to follow. In this new level, Beetlejuice would need to get to the end without dying to the enemies or falling off the mountain. And like in most games of this genre, there needed to be an epic boss battle at the end of the game. I also gave Beetlejuice some new abilities to help him navigate the level, including a glider and a dash ability. The glider can help him traverse over gaps found throughout the mountain and the dash can help him with larger gaps. But the dash also comes in handy to avoid sliding around on the ice. At the end of the level, I added a boss encounter to give the player one last final challenge. Designing the boss was about combining all of the elements I've built so far, combat, abilities, and navigation to create a satisfying conclusion. Well, there you have it, a Beetlejuice game in Unreal Engine. I had a lot of fun making this project. If you like this video, please press that tiny thumb. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, hit subscribe and leave a comment for what I should work on next. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.